Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Opera Nigerian Questions and Answers. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can design the lifting points, or more specifically, how we can design a reinforcement cage modeled in all plan to sustain the stresses it undergoes during the transportation phase in a crane. In this movie, I present to you a beam workflow for designing the steel cage for transportation. Here is a pile model you provided that contains both the 3D reinforcement and the detailing. The first step is to export the reinforcement into a 3D model. For this, you'll have to access the conversion mode and choose reinforcement to 3D solids. Select the 3D reinforcement, then click on the target drawing. You will obtain a 3D replica of the reinforcement cage in a separate drawing. The drawing needs to be assigned to a building structure in order to be able to export it to IFC. In case you have CI Engineer installed, you can export directly by going to Export, Export CI Engineer data. C Engineer will be launched automatically and we can decide which elements to import. Let's deactivate the reinforcement as it is already converted into 3D objects and also deactivate tendons. There is no need for stories in this example. With these settings, we import in C Engineer just 3D solids model. By opening the BIM toolbox, we have the option to convert 3D general solids into finite elements. This can be performed automatically. We will select the longitudinal reinforcement and the software will convert the 3D solids into 1D elements with the rebar cross-section assigned. The material can be read automatically if the proper material attribute has been assigned. The stiffening rings can also be modeled easily using 1D elements with the proper cross-section assigned. After modeling the first ring, we can easily place them using the multiply command. The design position of the cage will be horizontal with two lifting points. Two additional red bars are positioned to simulate the transfer bars towards the lifting crane. The design load will be self-weight multiplied twice to simulate the dynamic load of the rising or lowering of the cage. We can see the axial force for the transfer elements. Also, the software will generate the 3D deflection distribution across the entire cage. The evolution, displacements and deflections can be viewed as an animation within CI Engineer. Also, 3D stresses can be viewed along the elements for a preliminary design. To perform code checks for these elements, we will go to Steel module and perform an ULS check for the transfer bars. For the detailed report, it is obvious that the transfer bars have been overestimated, so we can find a more efficient cross-section by running an optimization routine. You can perform an advanced auto design which implies keeping a ratio between the diameter and the thickness. If we refresh the check, we can see now a more efficient solution. In the same manner, we can check all bars that belong to the pile reinforcement cage. C Engineer allows for graphical annotations and dimensioning, which will be part of the final engineering report. The engineering report template can be used for any typical project. All information is structured under different chapters that describe the entire design process in graphical and tabled form. Let's export now the report into PDF. C Engineer allows the integration of 3D PDFs to better investigate the model and explore the values that don't fit an A4. The beauty of the report stands in the easy update of the results correlated with the changes in the model. If we now decide to move the support closer to the left edge and recalculate the model, we obtain different results. The whole engineering report can be updated with one click. The final version of the document can be exported in an editable rich text format.
I hope this lesson was valuable for you. If you want to see more Q&A episodes, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to test the engineer, you will find a link in the description. Also, I would like to promote a new YouTube channel called Structural Glass. Here you will find tutorials regarding the design of glass structure, so I suggest you subscribe to get notification when new movies are released. Thank you for your attention and I wish you a lovely day.